A few months ago, I released a video on Stompbot, my one pound combat robot built out of a guitar pedal. The basic design was built around a guitar pedal because I couldn't CAD model. Well, I've since taught myself CAD and decided to embark on a new combat robot. Meet Blastwave, my synthwave inspired drumbot. Since this robot will likely be one of my largest projects to date, coming together over months rather than weeks, this project will be split into a few videos. This first video will be concentrated on the CAD model, so let's jump in. The first part of the robot to get designed was the weapon assembly. This early model was inspired by some of the common beetleweight egg beaters, but just more angular. A pulley is built into the side to allow it to be powered remotely rather than directly driven. This pulley was sized for the quarter inch belts from Servo City, but I have since moved on to eighth inch belts. I decided that it might be difficult to drive the weapon from the side due to drive motors being in the way. So I decided to go over to this design, which has a pulley in the center to alleviate this issue. I don't have the belts catted because I didn't feel it was necessary. This eyesore here is a test plane I was doing to test out the length of the belt. The belts I chose are the 2 inch diameter ones, which have a circumference of roughly 6 inches. This design has the same angular feel with two separate parts. It has holes in the side for M5 screws, which help add reach and can easily be replaced if damaged. CNCing this bar would be difficult because of the pulley in the center, so the only options are casting and 3D printing. The original plan was to make this out of steel, which would have weighed around 100 grams, but because steel is extremely expensive to 3D print, I might cast it in aluminum to reduce the cost. That would reduce the weight to about 30 grams. If I decide to go down that route, I might have to redesign the bar to add weight, but that remains to be seen. The bar rests on a 5mm steel rod, which should provide plenty of support for the bar. The rod goes through these bearings purchased from Allied Electronics, which help reduce friction and aid in the spin-up time of the weapon. The weapon bar is not connected, however, to the weapon axle, so I may add some set screw holes into the design to fix those together. The weapon is driven by a Turnigy 2508A brushless motor. This is a rough model of the motor that I mocked up for testing purposes, mostly to ensure that the motor would be mounted in such a way that the motor pulley would line up with the pulley on the weapon. If you want to download this model, the link is in the description. This motor may be discontinued, I believe I bought the last one on Newegg, as the listing disappeared once I purchased it, along with there being no mention of it on Turnigy's own website, so I might end up replacing it with another motor that is currently manufactured to aid in replacements. This motor is mounted with M2.5 screws which are a bit loose until they're tightened all the way down. Mounted to the shaft of this motor is a custom pulley which should just press fit on. The pulley is roughly 7.5mm in diameter, so when calculating everything out the weapon should spin at roughly 2100 RPM at max speed. If my resources work out, this works out to about 8 miles per hour at the tip. This seems extremely slow compared to a lot of other bots in this class, so I might end up reworking the pulley and using a much larger one. This does require moving the motor mount, so I'll probably wait to see how slow it is in person before changing anything. This is the Weapon ESC, a Turnigy Multistar 30 Amp Brushless ESC. I purchased this naked version so I could save weight on wires by using shorter lengths. The drive motors are these micro metal gear motors which have an RPM of 1000. Pololu provides a CAD model of their motors, so I use that model in the assembly for reference. I haven't quite decided which ESC to go with, but I'm currently thinking about one of the NBOT's DESCs, as they worked really well in Stompbot. These motors are mounted with M1.6 screws purchased from Servo City. Mounted to these drive motors are Botkit's foam wheels. I really like these on Stompbot, and decided to go with the thinner 1 inch width variety to save weight. These are mounted to the robot with these custom wheel hubs that mimic the official Botkit's ones. The Botkit's hubs are sized for a 4mm shaft, while these motors have only a 3mm shaft. The hubs are a press fit, which is plenty secure, and saves weight on on screws. I'm not 100% sure how I'll get the teal color on the wheels, I'll probably paint them by hand. It'll add a lot of work, but I think it really adds to the aesthetic. All of this fits inside the chassis. It was designed to be super angular, which I think helps it fit with a the theme. The chassis will be printed out of PLA. My FingerTech Mini Power Switch is mounted in the hole right here, and these pegs fit right inside the two holes on the switch. The top has these conical holes in it to fit these 6 30 seconds flathead screws. So that's the design so far of Blastwave. I have a lot of the parts to build this guy, save for some odds and ends, so expect a video where I prototype this guy to come relatively soon. In the meantime, you should check out some of my other videos, such as my first combat robot project, Stompbot, or the Vex robots that I've had a hand in. Thanks for watching, and keep designing.